Two years after generating a lot of buzz, this suitcase-sized minigun is going into full production. The one we're talking about here is called the XM556 Microgun, and it's a motorized Gatling-style gun that fires 5.56 NATO ammo like it's going out of style. Oh, and it's designed to be handheld, which makes it the first of its kind. Half the size of an M134 minigun, the XM556 minigun achieves its compact size by firing the smaller 5.56mm round. The gun's barrels now rotate in either direction, making it easier to clear jams. The gun can be fired at 90 degree angles up and down, as well as completely upside down. The rate of fire has been increased somewhere around the 8,000 rounds per minute mark. SAS troops claim the XM556 is the perfect weapon for ambushes because it can lay down a huge amount of fire almost instantaneously. When the ATF's pistol brace ruling was vacated, everyone had their eyes on the return of AR pistols. Arrow saw another opportunity, and the result is the Solace pistol line. At their core, the pistols are the same as the Solace bolt-action rifles, but are now available in a compact format. The pistols are bedded in a 7.5-inch Solace Competition chassis that features a 1913 rail at the rear for attaching pistol braces as well as ARCA and M-Lock compatible forends that have M-Lock slots at 3, 6, and 9 o'clock. Solace pistols are initially being offered in five chambering options, including 300 BLK, 5.56 NATO, 308 Winchester, 6.5 Creedmoor, and 8.6 BLK. And each of those can be ordered in one of eight different finish colors. Barrel lengths vary by caliber, but they all sport the Solace short action and have a 60-degree bolt throw, a three-lug interchangeable bolt head, dual ejectors, and a cock-on-lift bolt. The cherry on top is each Solace pistol is finished with a Trigger Tech single-stage trigger. Designed to exceed SOCOM military specifications while delivering a unique combination of accuracy, reliability, durability, and field maintainability, the Recoil Enhanced Automatic Precision Rifle brings critical innovations in firearms technology. The Reaper is a lightweight, belt-fed medium machine gun chambered in 338 Norma Mag, but swappable to 7.62 NATO. It weighs 26.8 pounds and has an overall length of 51.7 inches with stock collapsed, and 54.5 inches with the stock extended. However, the stock can also be folded, and in that case, it's just 44.25 inches in length. It can be configured for right or left-hand feed and features a patented sliding feed tray and cover, which means you can use optics with a larger footprint. The operating system is a roller delayed mechanism, and the 24.5-inch barrel can be quickly changed without the need to depress a button or lever. A system that breaks down into three major components in under 10 seconds the Reaper's small enough to fit into an operator's backpack. The famed 50 BMG round is often touted for its long-range potential, yet many rifles fall short on the precision required to guide this powerhouse with pinpoint accuracy to its intended destination. The HM50B does, marketed as being a higher precision weapon rather than a typical anti-material rifle, the HM50B comes loaded with features like the free-floated match-grade button rifled and honed barrel, target trigger, and unique lockup system. This beastly rifle has a massive and heavy-duty receiver to give the barrel a rock-solid base. The upper and lower receivers are CNC machined from aluminum. The 29 inches long match-grade barrel is triple honed, button rifled, and equipped with an HM Recore muzzle brake to give you the best accuracy possible. It also features a heavy-duty action that's remarkably smooth. The big bolt glides without much friction and feels good. The trigger's superb, and this 29-pound rifle will get those big 50 BMG bullets exactly where you want them. The included stock is a Magpul PRS, and you get an AccuTac bipod. Just grab an optic, and you're locked, loaded, and ready to hit the bullseye. Based on a high-quality Spore revolver, this revolving carbine is one of the most interesting projects we've seen this year. The gun features a 16-inch threaded barrel and an overall length of 32 inches with a carbine shoulder stock in place. You can attach your favorite optics and accessories using the uninterrupted 1913 Picatinny top rail and M-Lock attachment points found along seven positions of the Daniel Defense handguard. The MDT SCS buttstock delivers next-level versatility, strength, and ergonomics. It attaches via MDT's carbine buttstock interface and can be finely tuned to the user's preference. Reliability with 38 special ammunition is good enough for plinking purposes, but the performance with 357 Magnum ammunition is much better. 
At just a hair over 5 pounds, the weight's very nice, enough to tame the fairly mild recoil of the 357 Magnum, but not so much to make carrying a chore. Stay tuned for the next installment, where I dive deep into the features of this amazing carbine. This 12-gauge smart shotgun boasts a futuristic design, can be synchronized with gadgets, and is purposely designed for avid users of electronic devices. Resembling something that might be found in a video game, the shotgun features a stylish body, a built-in computer in the buttstock with a small screen, Wi-Fi, and a barrel-mounted video camera. The built-in computer offers a number of basic functions, including a timer recording the number of shots and hits, the time and rate of fire, and the number of targets hit. It also has a built-in compass and a GPS module showing the location of the weapon. The MP155 Ultima is based on the reliable classic MP155 semi-automatic hunting shotgun and features a magazine capacity of 7 plus 1 rounds. From the looks of it, it also is a pretty solid practical tactical shotgun with extended controls, lots of rail space for accessories, and an adjustable modular stock that can be swapped out for a bird's head grip. The estimated price for the MP155 Ultima is a little under $1400. Moving on, we introduce a unique and controversial precision rifle. What immediately jumps out is the stock design of this rifle, which has a rather futuristic appearance due to all the angled surfaces. The geometry of the carbon fiber stock is designed to allow consistently shouldering the rifle in the most efficient way. If you grip or shoulder it in an incorrect way, then it'll simply be uncomfortable. The Spoke Guns Phantom H has a completely new action with some elements borrowed from the Accuracy International, Tika, and Remington rifles. The action features a three-lug bolt and it's fed from detachable box magazines. The only caliber option currently listed on the company's website is the 300 WSM, featuring 16 inches heavy profile barrel. The overall length of the rifle is 39 inches and it weighs 8 pounds 13 ounces. The company claims that in the hands of an experienced shooter, the rifle is capable of 0.1 MOA accuracy. Of all the innovative firearms PSA released this year, one was a real showstopper, the PSA X5.7. This pistol closely resembles the H&K MP7 that's never been commercially available in the United States. Designed by several of the young, talented engineers at Palmetto State, the X5.7 is a personal defense weapon chambered in a 5.7 by 28 mm the idea of a PDW is to have a powerful yet compact weapon that can bridge the gap between handgun and carbine. Since the 46 by 30 mm cartridge is not popular or readily available in the United States, Palmetto State decided to offer this firearm in the 5.7 bottleneck PDW cartridge that's become commonplace in the U.S. market. The X5.7 is based on the PSA rock pistol, just scaled to fit the PDW role. Each pistol will ship with a 40-round magazine, and the platform features a Radian Raptor charging handle, M-Bus flip-up sights, and a removable tri-rail in the front. The X5.7 is still in the concept phase, with research and development continuing to ensure the platform's quality and reliability. PSA held a vote for customers to choose which gun they wanted the company to focus on next. Since the X5.7 won, the current timeline has its launch about a year out. PSA plans to price the guns under $1,000.